Good morning YouTube and welcome to Drop on the Bike Week 28 I do believe. Uh, so today uh, whew, I am taking a very similar path to what I did last Sunday. Uh, hopefully without the distraction of a rave going on. <laughs> so I'm back on these fire roads in uh, Cookworthy Forest and uh, hoping to explore more of the other side of the road. But I have to pass through here to get there so I'm going to get on with it. Get a bit more of a move on this week I think. Uh, 18 point something miles last week so I'm aiming for something similar today so let's get to it I'm deeper now into Cookworthy Forest and uh, no sign of a rave just yet oh, I have to say it does feel like I've been riding uphill for about 20 minutes and uh, after this little dip there's a nice big hill to get up but I'm going to shoot off to the right which is the little lane that the rave was on last weekend and go and check out down there See if there's anything any good down there. This is a lovely place. Well, this is the location of last week's rave, and uh, I'm pleased to say there's just a few uh, little Whistler butts and a couple of bottle tops. Uh, so it seems that they've taken all the rubbish home, which is good because uh, that would really suck. Uh, when we were on Exmoor once and they were having a rave. I took my little lad for a walk, you know, with the rave in the distance and I kept finding little baggies uh, where people had had their little friends in and stuff and uh, just dropped them on the floor, which uh, was a bit silly. But uh, pleased to say, it's all clear here. Uh, I'm quite glad I didn't come down here the other day. It would have been a bit tumbleweed because it doesn't actually go anywhere. The terrain looks interesting, but not rideable. So I'm going to turn around and head back. So regular viewers might remember this place from last week. And I said I've always wanted to go down here. Today is the day. It says on that sign, Ruby Country Ruby Ride, uh, Devon County Council, and it's like a horse riding trail, so I'll be careful with horses, obviously. Uh, always mindful of those, and uh, let's see what's down here. I quite literally went down that little slope, and it just descends into a soggy mess. Uh, but I'm going to go and see what's a little bit further down here. But uh, it's not going to be very fruitful, I don't think. <laughs> well, this is a bit more user-friendly, a bit further on. But uh, I could do with being a bit drier, my feet are soaked now. But uh, yeah, see where this goes. I have now fallen foul of the uh, rubbish Devon County Council uh, way marking of bridleways and stuff. There's obviously signs and stuff with bits broken off them. They never come and repair the blooming things. So I have come down this far as this, seen a nice old railway bridge down there. But this sign says that, does that mean up here or down there? Who knows, so I'm going to have a quick look here. I'm not sure it is down there. But that road just goes over that bridge that you can see. Okay, it's definitely not down there. <laughs> I'm going to head back the way I came and I'll check it out on the map later. Nice. I do enjoy a bit of mud. But don't really expect it in July. <laughs> okay, so here I am back in this place. Uh, don't know where to go really, it's a little trail that goes through there. But I don't really know where if it goes anywhere, so I'll probably check that out. And uh, if not, I'll head up back this way, which is where I went last time. So let's head here. So it's neither exciting nor technical, so uh, I'm going to give this up, head back and uh, shoot around the fire road. Get a little bit more distance in. Oh. Okay, so whilst I'm on this nice bit of fire road, just thought I'd explain a couple of things. So, uh, I've been uh, also at home. I haven't been videoing it because my wife doesn't like being filmed when she's exercising, which is fair enough. Uh, but uh, I've been doing some uh, Davina McCall workouts. When the lockdown started, my wife decided to do a sign up for a year with Davina doing her exercise classes online and they're actually really good normally I'm really skeptical about those things normally a load of bollocks but uh, I've done a few kettlebell workouts now and the last couple of days I've been doing uh, some 20 minutes boxercising which sounds a bit naff but it's actually really good fun hard work and makes you bloody sweat so it's a really good workout which you can do in your living room so if you're housebound i highly recommend it 
verticals. Doing all the squats and stuff like that hasn't really helped my legs, particularly with all the cycling I've done this week, but uh, you just got to crunch through it and get on with it. Got to try a few different things, and it's easy to do that at home. Check it out. Okay, so I'm just uh, approaching the junction I got to last week. I went straight on uh, because I was running out of time. I'm in a similar sort of situation today, uh, but I'm ahead of schedule a bit today than I was compared to last week, if that makes sense. So today, I'm gonna shoot up there, see where that goes. And uh, might be something in those trees there, but they're very densely packed, so I doubt it. But let's go and have a look up here. I have to explore every avenue that I see eventually. <laughs> Okay, so I just rode from that direction and come across what uh, will be another turning circle. Uh, and as with uh, a lot of the places in Cookworthy Forest, it literally doesn't actually go anywhere. Um, so I suppose being a forestry commission, they do logging activities and stuff here. So it does allow them to get their trucks in here, do what they got to do and clear off. Uh, but I have to say, from a mountain biking point of view, it does make Cookworthy Forest a little bit tumbleweed. Makes me wish I had something like the Forest of Dean on my foot, on my doorstep. Uh, but it does have its nice parts. It's got nice fire roads to ride around and you can make good loops and stuff. But I uh, just wish there were some off-road trails, man. But we're lucky to have this uh, near me. Could live in the city centre, I suppose. <laughs> right, back where I came from, I think. Okay, I'm now out of that section of the forest. I did actually stumble across a trail, which I proceeded to ride up. I nearly got mauled to death by someone's Rottweiler. Uh, so I didn't really feel like filming much. Anyway, I'm back out now. Uh, it was only about 40 or 50 metres long, so pretty tumbleweed. That's a nice trail down there, by the way. But uh, I think I've got a couple more bits to explore on the left-hand side of the forest down here, and then I'll be on my way home. Floor more apparently, so let's go and see what's down here. So they actually filmed parts of Baywatch here in the 80s and 90s, uh, so hence why we've got a lifeguard tower here. Not really, <laughs> of course. Got no idea what that's all about. But it's got a good view down to something, another structure down there. Oh yeah, hope they make a zip wire. Let's go and see what the sign says. Uh, no one authorised person is allowed beyond this point. Does that mean that way or up there? Not for public use, do not climb. I assume it's all relating to that jobby, so I'm heading this way. Just ride down this hill there and I saw people with their dogs up on the bank. So I thought there must be something exciting up here. So I found an entry point. Nice little lake reservoir thing. It's got a drainage hole there, which comes out down here. It looks like there might be a walk that goes around it. So I'll come back with the family and do that one. But for now, I'm going that way. Well, there's my entry and exit point. It's uh, not very exciting, but it's a nice little place to come for a walk with my family. Uh, it's close to my house as well, which is handy. But uh, nothing much of much excitement on a bike, unless I just want to do a quick loop, which is nice. I'm on my homeward stretch now, and uh, I have to say, my legs are absolutely toast. I've got one more big hill to get up before I get home. Hopefully I'll make it up there. I reckon uh, it's been a while since I've been this knackered on a bike ride, but uh, today's the day. But I'll feel good for it later. I have to say, I'm very pleased to be back today. That was blooming hard work. So I'm just gonna check out on Strava. I was hoping for 20 miles. Uh, 22.6 miles and I was out for two and a half hours so I'm pleased with that that's a good little ride that one but I am knackered now my bum hurts my glutes gluteus maximus I believe hurts from all the squats yesterday and stuff but uh, very pleased I did that very much looking forward to a shower and a coffee see you later good afternoon it is Tuesday afternoon I think. It must have just gone lunchtime, something like that, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm off down the post office today. Uh, as you well know, I don't normally uh, 
cycle to the post office on a Tuesday because I'm so busy and also I take my lad to school on a Tuesday so I don't get to work until late which means I often run out of time on a Tuesday but I've made time today the main reason is my little lad's last day at school today and they're not having a party or a disco so my wife is putting on a full spread buffet later and we're gonna have a little disco uh, to mark the end of my little lad's uh, second year at school so many calories later so I thought it's a good idea to get out so that's what I'm doing and it's a beautiful day okay so like I said uh, just coming up for a little extra bike ride today on Tuesday uh, it's not gonna be a fast run uh, a couple of reasons one who wants to shoot who wants to speed past this it's beautiful and secondly um, with the sun up there. okay the uh, the holiday makers are here summer holidays are kicked off now with some school so any kids that did go back uh, starting to break up now my little lad finishes today and with that comes a holiday traffic so my road route which I take to Northcott mouth is a single file route road. Uh, so if there's a car coming the other way everyone has to stop and back up and it's a pain but uh, you know it keeps the economy going around here so that's all good but uh, I'm just climbing up here today it is an absolute scorcher it's not really really hot today but it's a beautiful day a bit windy but it's nice and cool in uh, so anyway, I'm just going to shoot around there and burn some calories pre-disco uh, party this evening. So, uh, better get on with it now, I've caught my breath back. I don't know if you can see, but there's someone riding their bike on the sand down there. Which has given me an idea. See you in a few days, hopefully on the beach. Okay, there you have it, 7.5 miles. <sighs> I'm pleased with that. Like I say, I don't normally get out on a Tuesday, but when I do, it really makes me feel good. Uh, particularly when I know I'm going to eat a bunch of bad food later. So this week might be a bit iffy way in wise, but uh, we shall see. And I'll probably uh, will do a bit of boxer size this evening as well. So that's me for the day. See you tomorrow. Probably. What day is it? Tuesday, yeah. Okay, probably see you tomorrow. Welcome to Wednesday and it's another beautiful day here in Bude. It's Wednesday morning and I'm out on the way to the post office this morning because again delivery afternoon so I need to get out and get back before they get to me. Ah, it is a scorcher today much the same as yesterday and what a beautiful day it is to ride up here. A bit warm. Ah, so anyway just a standard loop today let's get on with it. Okay, so I think I have got uh, a lot of calories I need to burn off. Yesterday evening was my little lad's uh, substitute school finishing party. Uh, my wife put on a lovely buffet for us, and I have to say, I ate a lot of it. Cool as. Uh, so I have to say, yeah, I did eat quite a lot. A lot of pizza, garlic bread, party rings, yeah. And all sorts of other stuff sausage rolls so I oh, fatty boom boom yesterday so hopefully I can burn some of that off today I did feel a little bit ill afterwards I have to say and I probably will put on weight this week but don't do things like that very often so I don't really care I'm nearly back in the man cave now it is hot boy it is hot and sticky today uh, but I did manage 7.6 miles in 46 minutes uh, so I'm pleased about that. Uh, definitely had to get out and burn some calories off after yesterday's indulgence, but uh, it was nice. Um, anyway, uh, what day is it tomorrow? It's Thursday tomorrow. The weather is going to change for the worse over the next few days, so I don't know what it's going to be doing. That's just hearsay from what my wife said. So uh, whether it's really bad or just a bit rubbish, I don't know, but uh, we'll have to find out. Anyway, that's me done for the day, and I'll see you tomorrow in some capacity. See ya! Hey guys, yeah, welcome back. It's Thursday. And uh, have a guess where I'm off to. Yeah. Oh, I don't need, need to tell you anymore. Uh, okay, so, bit achy today. I did a half an hour boxer size class last night, and I have to say, I'm a little bit achy. Uh, it's a good leg workout as well, lots of squats and stuff uh, on this Davina class thing online. So, my legs are feeling it a little bit, I have to say and my upper body from doing all the punches and stuff. I'm feeling it, but glad to be out. It's 
a bit more murky today, so nice and cool. A uh, few specks of rain in the air, uh, but I shouldn't get soaking wet. We'll have to wait and see. So let's get to it. What a difference a day makes. A uh, bit of a grim day today, and I have to say, there's uh, hardly a soul around. Yesterday that beach was pretty busy. A couple of people out for a walk today, and that's about it. And uh, uh, I'm not going to post any quick times coming this route. Unfortunately, even if my pace is increasing slightly, uh, I keep getting held up by cars down the little country lanes. It's all single file, so uh, constantly getting slowed down by cars. It's no space to overtake them. It's one of those things. So it's that time of year, just to enjoy the view, I think. And what a view it is! Onwards and upwards. It's certainly a bit busier at Crooklitz than it was at Northcott. Uh, it's good to see that the surf schools are still busy. This is when they have to make their cash, so uh, excellent news. Last slog now up Kings Hill, and uh, it has been raining on and off a little bit since I started, but it's just had a particularly hard bit, you know, in consideration. Still only spitting, but uh, I may well still get wet before I get back. Oh. Hills, hills, hills round here. Okay, so that ride was uh, 7.66 miles. Uh, yeah, quite uh, unremarkable really, has to be said. Uh, but I'm glad I got out there today. Uh, the weather was actually meant to be worse than it is now, but uh, so I'll definitely take it like this. Um, tomorrow is weigh day. I don't really know what to expect. Uh, it's been a bit of a funny week. I've done a whole bunch of exercise. Um, and really I've been eating quite well other than uh, the blowout that I had on Tuesday for my lads uh, do so uh, we'll have to see uh, but I haven't got my hopes held too high but uh, we'll find out tomorrow morning see you then bye hello guys welcome back I believe this to be week 28 which is mad um... Well, that's a long time to be doing this, I think. But uh, anyway, we're still going. So that's good news. Um, bit of a funny old week this week. I did do a bunch of exercise. I've been out on my bike loads. I had a great ride at the weekend. Um, on Sunday, I think I did over 20 miles. So that was excellent. And I was knackered. Um, and then throughout the week, I've been doing plenty of boxer size um, classes and Pilates, believe it or not. That's not really my kind of thing, but it's actually quite good. Um, so that's been good as well. Keep myself nice and supple. Um, so yeah, done a few bike rides as well. I think I've been out every day actually this week, apart from Monday, uh, which is great news. Uh, so let's see if we can get back on track, back on track weight-wise. So I had a bit of a booby last week, but I couldn't do my weigh-in at the normal time with a fully empty stomach because now I'm starving. It's 11 o'clock, which is my uh, weigh-in time, and I am Hank Marvin. So I'm going to get on with a weigh-in, and hopefully we can be going back down in that direction. So I'll see you in a second and let you know. Don't know why the setting has changed. Let me do that again. Sorry about that, guys. Not sure what happened, but my camera decided to turn itself off for some unknown reason. So perhaps the battery's going flat, so I'll get a move on. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you back next week. Please do a like, do a subscribe, and do a comment below, because I will reply. And if you want, you can buy one of my t-shirts. You'll see a link somewhere up here, um, but not this one again. Uh, one of my ones, which I'll do myself. So, uh, thanks a lot, and I'll see you next week for week 29, I believe. Laters.